Hi, Phil Aston here from nowspinning.co.uk. Um, this video looks at an album that features a guitarist called Paul Kossoff. And the album I'm going to feature in this little video is by Backstreet Crawler and it's called Second Street. This was the, the last album that Kossoff played on. And the rumour is that he was not in a good way when this album was put together and some of the lead work that he put down was almost like what they call flyby. He was just kind of, well, drive-by solo. He kind of just went into the studio, they played one track after the other and he basically doodled through some of them. I don't know if that's true or not. All I would say is that it features some of his most emotional playing. Uh, you know that when he first started he had that kind of real strong rubato um, and I think he even clapped him on to know how he did it. Uh, especially when tons of sobs up and probably through to Highway Free Live. And then I think obviously with the substance abuse his tone started to change especially around the time of the Kosov Tetsu album etc. But it also reached a point um, in 1970 three when he did um, Wishing the Heartbreaker album with Wishing Well on it and his guitar tone when he was playing a Strat um, on Come Together in the Morning is just like tears coming out of the speakers. You can feel his pain. very sensitive soul every note was on target he wasn't the kind of guitarist that just played loads of notes every single one was measured chosen and just hit you right here in the center of the chest and um, on this album it's not just about him I think the the sadness is also the fact that this band you know, with Rabbit on keyboards, and he was such a fantastic songwriter. The songs on this album are just sublime. They're just fantastic. And if Kosov had carried on, I'm sure they would have they would have made it. This was so different than the, the first album. But I think what makes the song special to me is that is the amount of there's a certain type of it's hard to say really that they have a. There's a chord, the chord sequence, the way the song changes. Some of the songs sound really upbeat and, and happy. And then Kossoff comes in, a bit like what he did on the track um, uh, Highway, where it, there's, it's quite an upbeat song, and then the solo comes in and it changes the whole atmosphere. And this happens a lot on this album. Um, Selfish Lover, Blue Soul. I mean, just listen to this. Just fantastic. Stop what you're doing, Ra um, raging river, and some kind of happy, which sounds upbeat. And then again, you've got this change in in tempo and chord sequence, and the whole emotional aspect of the song goes with it. absolutely brilliant and then Sweet Beauty another one that is just again has these elements of just pure angst absolutely fantastic stuff and Just For You is another great track and On Your Life and then of course probably the most emotional song on the whole album which is Leaves In The Wind 
I mean, this song conjures up a lot about life, lost love, lost opportunities, whatever. But I think that the way it comes together um, and it kind of ends the album is just absolutely Don't stunning. Make no sound. This is one of my favourite albums. Um, but I was going to say all the time, and it probably is in a way. It's certainly one of my favourite albums that features Paul Kossoff. And I think that the whole um, performance by all the all the you know the the band really, Terry Wilson Slessor is a great vocalist, and obviously stayed with Crawler, uh, and he was great with that. And um, Terry Wilson was on bass. John Rabbit Bundrick on keyboards and vocals and Tony Brangle on drums. It's just a fantastic album. It was released in 1976 on the Atlantic Records label. Um, this, the version that I've got on CD is on the repertoire uh, label. I think there's also a double two CD set which also features the first album. But if you are a, a fan of mid 70s rock, Paul Kossoff, you love Free, love Bad Company, you've never explored this, then this is an absolutely fantastic record. It's full of soul, there's a bit of funk, but the most important, I think, aspect to me is how it captures emotion. And in many ways, music is the transfer of emotion from one person to another. And to me, this does it. So that's my recommendation for this week which is Backstreet Crawler, Second Street, released in 1976, Kossoff's last album, but also featuring some of his most emotional playing. So I um, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>